In this video, I'm gonna be letting you know whether you should be using Google Search or Performance Max in 2024. And the learning is gonna start right now. Now to answer this, you need to look at three core questions. And the first one is, what is your current situation? The second one is, is that we need to look at the pros and cons of each type of campaign. And then finally, we need to look at how many conversions you're currently generating in Google Ads. Now, while this video will be suitable for anyone who is running a Google Ads campaign, it is gonna be more suitable for people who are not focusing on e-commerce. But if you are an e-commerce business, don't stress because in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be releasing a similar style video breaking down whether you should be using Shopping or Performance Max in 2024. But having said that, you will still find this video very, very valuable, especially if you're an e-com brand that does use some search. Now, the process I'm gonna take you through is, this is a higher level strategy that we take through when I review any accounts through different coaching appointments or if we're taking on the management of an account. This is the process that we go through. And if you wanna be able to do this exact process in your own business or for some of your clients' businesses, I want you to follow that link in the description below because you can then get my how to win at Google Ads strategy guide. And this is a booklet which I've put together which really allows you to really evaluate what type of campaigns and what account structure is gonna be the best for your business. And as I said, if you wanna get free access to that guide, just follow that link in the description below. Now let's answer the first of those questions and that is your current situation. And this is very much in regards to Google Ads. And what I mean by that is that are you just starting at Google Ads? And if this is your first campaign that you're running for this business or your client's business, I would definitely start with Google Search and I would not even think about using Performance Max. And the absolute earliest that I would bring Performance Max in would be after the first three months, but realistically, it's after about the first four to six months. So if you're new to Google Ads, this is a really, really simple answer. And the answer is, is that you need to start with Google Search. Now to expand out on that further, we need to look at the different pros and cons of each type of campaign. Now, the reason for why this is so important is because as you would probably be aware that a Google search campaign is very, very different to a Performance Max campaign. With a Google search campaign, that is very much what, if you say Google Ads to someone, this is what they imagine. It's the original type of Google Ads campaign. It very much functions how people think Google Ads works in that the business targets individual keywords. With those keywords, they then write their ad copy and then they select the landing page which they want the user to go to. So it's all about targeting keywords, and then getting your ads to be clicked on so that you can sell your products or services. Now there has been some different changes and updates and keyword match types have changed and new types of ad copies have been brought in over the close to 20 years that Google Ads has been around, but that process still remains the same for a search campaign in that at its core, the advertiser selects the keywords, writes the ad copy, and then their ads go into an auction to send people through to that landing page but a Performance Max campaign is very, very different. And the reason for why it's different is that by you giving keywords, they're not really what Google targets. Yes, Google takes it as a suggestion, but the way that Performance Max has been designed is that for selecting where to trigger your ad, it doesn't only happen on the search network, it can also happen in the display network. And because Google is also targeting users not by keywords, but also by demographics and audiences, your ads could be shown to people who have never even searched for your product or have even heard of your brand. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just something to keep in mind. So what I wanna do right now to explain this out further, let's jump into a quick screen share so we can go through and find a detail some of the pros and cons of these different types of campaigns. So what we're gonna be looking at between search and performance max campaigns is we're gonna be looking at the keyword and audience targeting, how much control you have over the ad copy and the different types of conversion endpoints that you could be using. So for a search campaign, as we said, you've got a really high level of control over the keywords and also the audience targeting. If you really wanna get technical, you can actually block certain audiences. You can also add negative keywords and you've got a high level of control over the ad copy, whereas for a performance max campaign, as I said before, you have a real level low control. Now you can add in what performance max cause signals, but it's really, really important to note that they are just really suggestions. They're not the keyword targeting that you can use in a Google search. You also can't add in direct negative keywords. Yes, you can exclude different URLs. You can add in brand exclusions. You can also contact Google to get some manual keywords, but it's not the same as what you can do in a search campaign and the same with the ad copy. You don't have the same level of 
of control. Now, you could argue that the conversion endpoints are the same on both types of campaigns, although Performance Max, you do also have your local campaigns, so your store visits and map directions. Once again, you can do that in search, but that is gonna be much easier to do inside of Performance Max. And it's also important to note about the different types of ads, where your ads will show. And what I wanna show you from here is obviously for search, it's only text-based ads, which is searching on the search network. And for Performance Max, it's not just text-based ads. There's also shopping ads, if you have them, image-based ads, so they appear on the display network, Google Maps and video ads, so it even appears on YouTube. So unlike with a search campaign where your ads only appear on the search network, for Performance Max, they display on search, display, maps, Gmail, and YouTube. So as you can see, the search campaigns and Performance Max campaigns are very, very different. Now, the other thing that I would add there, if that you are in a business or an industry that has some strong regulations around the type of ad copy that you can show and the type of keywords that your ads can appear for, that's also gonna be another red flag for Performance Max. Let me give you a perfect example for a client that we are working for here in Australia for some different superannuation and retirement funds. Performance Max is just not an option because of the regulations around ad copies and also keyword targeting. The company really need to stay with search so that they can guarantee that they weren't gonna get any regulation fines. So it is really, really important to know that when you're deciding whether to use search or Performance Max, that you are covered in both of those areas. Now that brings us down to the last question or consideration that you need to use in order to make the decision as to whether you're gonna be using Search or Performance Max. So as a wrap up so far, if you're new to Google Ads and this is your first campaign, start with Search, not Performance Max. And if you have any regulation concerns, and you have to have greater control over your ad copy and your ad placement, you also need to stay with search and not performance max. And this then brings us to the third consideration in that I would not be starting a performance max campaign until we have enough conversion data in your account. And the reason for why that's so important is remember when we were talking about just before about how Performance Max works. You've got to remember that Performance Max is designed to find more conversions. Remember that Performance Max could target your ads to someone who is not even searching for your product or service and may have no awareness of your brand. The way that Performance Max does that is it looks at the current conversions and it looks at their audiences and their demographics. So it builds out an ideal customer persona. And then from there, it targets similar audiences. With the problem being is that if you don't have enough conversion data in your account, Google has to run that testing by itself. And it can actually get quite expensive and time consuming. So as a rule, I would not be starting a Performance Max campaign until you're seeing at least 30 conversions every month, which is why I say generally for Performance Max, you're not starting it until five or six months down the track. Now, why 30 conversions in 30 days? And that comes from internal data that we've been running and we've just seen that if we've started Performance Max, where it's been getting 30 conversions every month, we find that's a much better environment to launch Performance Max. What I'm gonna show you right now is I'm gonna show you an example of two different accounts. One of them started with Performance Max and only Performance Max, so no conversion data. While the other one, we introduced Performance Max after we had a really strong basis of conversion actions. Let's jump into the screen share so I can show you the stark difference between these two campaigns. What I'm showing you here first, this is the campaign that we started with Performance Max, so it had no other account data in there. There was no other campaigns that had been running. So this was the very first campaign we ran in this account. And you can see through here that the conversions got off really slow. We started advertising in February, we got two conversions in March, 23 in April, and then we started to get up a good level of conversions. But you can see here, it took quite a bit of money to get those results. There was you know three and a half spent, two and a half spent, and then another three and a half spent. It was just short of $10,000 before we really started to break even with this account. It also took four months to get that data. Versus with another account, that we introduced Performance Max, and you can see that when we introduced Performance Max, and this is in a weekly review, so you can see right from the very first week, we were getting conversions straight away. So we started spending money and we got conversions, and then the results also did continue, and we were able to scale it, but you can see it was very, very much immediate in the results. And if we break this down to a daily view, you can see that once again, right from the very first day, we started to see those conversions come on in. But what I wanna show you through here is I've just now moved it over to all of the 
the campaigns and you can see we didn't start Performance Max till here, but we had a high level of conversions coming into that account and that's why Performance Max works so well in that account. So the last thing you need to do before you start a Performance Max campaign is make sure that you've got a high level of conversion data in your Google Ads account so that you can see those best results. Thank you for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. And remember, if you wanna get access to my How to Win at Google Ads Planner so that you can plan the best strategy for your business, make sure you follow that link in the description below. My name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. Now, whether you're gonna be using Search or Performance Max for success, you need to make sure that those campaigns are set up the right way. So if you wanna make sure that you're using the correct setup and structure for your search campaigns, go through and watch this video right here. Or if you wanna make sure that you're using the correct setup and structure for your Performance Max campaigns, go through and watch this video right here. Thanks again, see you next time.